Hi, Deborah. Hi, Christine. How are you? Hello, Sarah. Nice of you to join me this afternoon. I'm hoping I can get this done before the thunderstorm hits, which we've been forecast to have, so fingers crossed. Hi, Danny. Christine, can you hear me okay? Can you just let me know that the sound's all right, please? Hi, Anne. Fantastic, that's lovely. Thanks, Christine. It's always my one fear that I'm sitting here talking to loads of people and nobody can hear me. So it's always a relief. Hi, Anne, thank you. Okay, I think we're gonna, we'll make a start. Um, and then if anybody else joins us as we're going along, then that's great. Well, it's nice that you can join me today, Sarah, so that's nice, that's lovely. So today I'm going to be making this um, card for you. This was based on a card that I made for one of Lisa's shows back in March, I think it was. Um, it's so simple, so quick and easy, and I just thought it's, you know, sometimes you want something a little bit 3D, but you're worried that it's going to cost you a fortune to post. Well, I think this one is is good in as much as, although it's 3D, it's quite flat. So if I just lift that up there, you can see it's actually quite flat, um, other than the, the petals on the flower. But obviously they'll flatten in the envelope. The only thing that's going to stand proud, really, is this little gem in the centre. So if you're really worried about postage, then... You could just leave the gem off or perhaps put some mermaid tails in the centre there instead. Um, but I am a sort of a, a gem and a pearl person, so very few of my cards are complete without gems or pearls. So, what are you going to need? Today, I'm going to be using a sentiment from the original worded sheets, um, which are on Lisa's website. And if you ever can't get anything on Lisa's website, try Creating Craft or Craft Stash. I know there are a couple of other suppliers, but I can't just bring them to mind at the moment. Um, if I can work that out, I'll put those in the comments for you afterwards. But primarily, Lisa's website's pretty good and she's got 95% of the stock in. The only time it won't be on Lisa's website is the two weeks after it's been released on Creating Craft, because obviously they have a... A two week exclusivity for anything that Lisa brings to them. So the original worded sheets which are in black, brown and white and I just think they're amazing. There's a sentiment for any occasion in there. I'm going to be using the Daisy Burst Edge Cuts die along with the Daisy Burst stamp and also the nested um, banners and I'm going to be using these two, the smallest two of this set here. And the thing I like about these dies particularly is that when you stamp an image and then cut it out, you get the whole image. There's nothing missing. So this little cut line here sits just inside the stamped image. So you can see that there is just a very small line that you can see just visible around that, around that die. And when you cut it out, 
you actually get the whole of the image like that so nothing messing and I think that's a that's a unique selling point I think that's brilliant so you're going to need a card blank this one is well it's out of a pack that says seven by seven they're not seven by seven trust me this is just over 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters and I know because I measured it and um, so when it says seven by seven don't believe them it's not true so then you're going to need three pieces of black and three pieces of white and your black needs to be about two to three eighths of an inch bigger than your white I'm not going to give you measurements for these because it depends on the size of your card blank that you're going to be using to start with and um, I will say that they're about three or four centimeters smaller than each other um, and this one is about two centimeters smaller than the card blank I only want a very narrow black frame around these so on here you'll see it's an extremely thin black frame because what I wanted was the edge of the stamping to look as close to the layer below as possible but I also wanted each layer to stand out so I wanted to give it a black edge but didn't want to use um, a marker like a, a sharpie or anything because I wanted the ink on the stamps to be a crisp line I didn't want a, a black marker line to go over the top of that ink if you get me so that's why I've done matting and layering this time instead of um, using my pen and like I said this is so simple I'm using all three sizes of the stamps from the Daisy Burst set and I would say if you're going to stamp um, a solid stamp like these are I'd use perhaps an archival ink pad because it will give you a better coverage um, with your ink on your card just because of the way it's made it's waterproof it's bleed proof and it gives a really crisp image um, so literally you stamp these around the edge of the card wherever you want to I wouldn't say go with the whole image I go with half images I spread these around because there are two different stamps in this set in each size so there's a spotty one and a plain one in the larger size same in the middle size and then the smaller stamp that one's got a an inlay on the petal and that one's got the inlay on the outside if you get me you'll see what I mean when I stamp them um, on the last piece of card so just go around the edge of your card with your stamp space them out because you're going to put the other the other stamp in between these you stamp as many or as few as you want I think I went a bit overboard on this one here but whatever whatever doesn't really matter does it it's a piece of card at the end of the day you can soon do another one if that's if that's not to your liking when you finish stamping you think oh, do you know what I've gone a little bit over the top um, and you can just start again with a different piece it's not gonna break the bank is it for a piece of card and this color that I'm using is um, aquamarine it's a um, Ranger archival ink pad and I do love these pads the last ages and ages and ages I've had these for quite some years and they just never seem to just never seem to wear to be honest um, and they always they always stamp really well I think I'll leave that at that so that's your first layer I'll just put that to one side and we'll do the second layer with the second size and again basically all you're doing is going around the outside of the piece of card hi Julie thanks for joining me doesn't matter if you're a bit late you're here better late than never hi Heidi love your little box off Nikki that's really sweet isn't it I've got one of those but I've got a fairy door inside it but 
they are nice. Hi Natalia. So you basically just fill in your edge of your card with your stamps. On every layer. So that's your second layer done. That's one side. And then your smallest layer here. Now you'll see what the difference is between these stamps. It's quite subtle, but I like it. I think this is a, a fabulous set of stamps. So versatile. Look good in any colour. And for any type of project really. They're fantastic when you cut them out with the, the dies for um, layering and making 3D flowers. They're just they're just a fabulous fabulous set and I suppose you could do this with um, butterflies if you wanted to you don't have to do it with flowers you could do it with anything really I suppose that, that took your fancy um, so that's me stamping done see how quick and easy this is so it's like I say with most of my cards it takes longer to do all the prep than it does to actually make the card and put it all together so hi Diana, hope it's working for you now Heidi, oh thank you, you're a star. So I'm just going to put these all together and as I said I only wanted a very tiny edge around there. Now I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer, this is a nice blue isn't it Sarah? I sat this morning going through all my ink pads thinking what colour shall I use and I've got two here, one was a fuchsia pink and one was this one and this one won out so I'm just going around the edges on this card and I would normally go across the middle but this is Lisa's um, extra smooth stamping card which is superb but I don't want any little glue bubbles or blobs because sometimes this can this can come out in a bit of a blob at times um, that's a technical term by the way um, and I didn't want that to show through on the card because it can do sometimes. So I'll just go round the edge. You don't need any more than that to be fair. So second layer. Just one of probably one of the quickest cards that I've made in a long time. And I just think it looks really effective when it's finished. There's very little stamping. Um, but you don't need to, you don't necessarily need to do loads and loads of stamping to make something look really good, do you? Hi Jane, how are you? My little pink friend. No worries, you can always catch up later. I haven't really missed a great deal only watching me stamping and you know how to do all that so not that I'm saying everybody else doesn't of course everybody knows how to do stamping but sometimes it's just about different ideas and so there you go there's all your matting and layering done really dead quick dead easy so then I'm just going to put this down onto the base card now on here I will put some in the middle of the card purely and simply because there's two layers of card I don't want it to come detached from my card um, although this Cosmic Shimmer is pretty good for, for that um, it's got a very good life you know sometimes when you use double sided tape tape dries out and then your card can fall apart and if you've made it for a, a special keepsake for somebody um, and then all of a sudden it falls apart when they get it out of their little memory box to show people that's not very good is it so this is this is my preferred option <laughs> sorry Julie I'll shut up um, it's all said in the nicest possible way you know Okay, 
I know it looks like you're wasting a bit of cord in the middle, but trust me, I think it's worth it. And I'm only putting this on by eye. I don't measure. I'm a bit like Heidi on that. It takes too long to measure and make it dead accurate. I mean, that's the beauty of handmade, isn't it? That, you know, sometimes it might be a little bit off centre, but I don't really think that matters. As long as it's not dead wonky. Another technical term for you. Um, I don't really think it matters. To be fair, but I think with squares you're pretty safe, aren't you? It's pretty easy to line it all up and make it central. Okay, so that's really the base of your card done. But I think that I think that looks effective already, don't you? I think the the layering on it looks good. So then, as I say, I used the two smallest um, nested banner dies to make this. And I've stuck with just plain black and white because I wanted the black and white to fit in with the rest of the card. So I'll just put that onto the other. Put that down there like that. And I just think these are... I love the stitching around the edge. Um, I just think it it sets them off. I just think it's just those little finishing touches that that make Lisa's products stand out. Now I want this to go across all three layers, so I want it to just sit proud of this last layer here. So I'm only going to glue it to there where it sits on the edge of this card because I don't want to glue it all. I don't want to glue down every down every layer here. So I'm only going to glue this top bit so that it's in the middle of the... And I know whereabouts it is because I want it to go over the edge of that third layer like that. It's about in the middle, isn't it? Right, so my sentiment, as I say, is from the original set of worded sheets that Lisa bought out. Now, there are, you know, a lot of people do things like this, but these are the original worded sheets, and I think they're just fantastic. There's a sentiment that will cover every occasion. You know, sometimes you want something a little bit different than a, you don't always want a birthday card, do you, or a, an anniversary card or anything like that you just want something to send to somebody just to say hi I'm thinking about you or whatever you want it to say and these sentiments cover everything and this don't overthink it especially at the moment I think is is just perfect now the black set that come in this the black cards that come in this set I've got a white core and you see that I don't want that white core to show on this black on this white card. I want it completely black. So I just go round the edge with my Copic or Sharpie or whatever it is you've got. Um, I've normally got a Sharpie pen, but I need to replace it because it's dried up. So I just go round the edge of that and it takes away that white core. So now you've got a black edge, which was going to sit just nice and proud on here. I'm just going to put that down in the middle. Like that. And then I'm just going to just literally, ever so slightly, shape these petals. I don't want them massively shaped because obviously when it comes to posting they're going to go flat anyway. But if you give them a little bit of shape, when somebody takes this card out of the envelope, the chances are it'll bounce back because this card is um, is so malleable. It's just, I just think it looks, it gives a really good effect. And again, I've stamped these in the same ink 
to match these and it looks slightly different I'm not quite sure why um, although I am I am quite sure why that's a little bit darker because you know I said I was deciding on which colour to use and I stamped out the pink and I stamped out the blue I did clean my stamp in between the archivals do stain your stamps doesn't make any difference to how good they are but they will stain your stamps um, but I think I probably didn't clean it enough and this one I don't know whether you can see it actually is a slightly darker blue and I think it's because there was probably a little bit of pink still left on the stamp so it's actually come out a shade darker than the aquamarine but I don't think it matters really it's not gonna I don't think it's glaringly obvious is it well, it isn't to me anyway but then my eyesight's never been brilliant so if it's glaringly obvious then it's glaringly obvious I'm not really bothered it still looks good and I'm happy with it so so I'll just put that on the top layer on the bottom layer and then put this flower so that it sits on the end of my nested banner like that see so quick so simple and then of course it's got to have a gem on it because it wouldn't be me if it didn't and I'm using the flat back um, gems rather than the pearls because I, I tend to neglect these and I do love them I just think they sit so beautifully and it just finishes a card off don't you think I just think it's I think it's just a, a nice way of dressing it up a tiny little bit and um, just to make it that little bit special really um, so there you go it's dead quick dead easy this Friday um, I don't think I've missed uh, any questions <laughs> yeah I, I tend to go a bit meltdown this Jane as well um, and I, Heidi I like to think I would make up blank cards um, and then add the sentiment but I never do it I always think oh, I'll, I'll do a few of these and it never happens so there's always something that comes along and takes over but um, I think you'll agree that they look I just think they look something a little bit different something a little bit special Um might be a bit busy for some people but just put less stamps on and um, just use one in each corner or whatever you want to do and like I say if you want to use the butterflies instead of flowers and um, do that in, instead if you have a go at this please share it in the group I'd love to see what you make with them um, can't wait to see then Diana um, I'm holding you to that make sure you share it in the group I think you've got about a week left to enter the challenge um, my card today was going to be based on um, the challenge but I, I just got a little bit lost to be honest I started it the other day and this was what I started with so I started with Jane's circle in the middle and the border and these are from um, the trellis blooms stamp set that uh, Anne ruffles drew beautiful stamp set um and i got a bit carried away with the circles as you can see and i just thought no i, I don't know where i'm going with it now and no i've changed my mind i'm going to do something else so that's where this one came in so it's it's just nice to have something a little bit different i think so the challenge runs till the 31st and then we will choose a winner it might take us a couple of days but we'll announce the winner in the group and the winner will be getting a set of the capri and barley papers courtesy of um lisa thank you lisa and then we'll think about a challenge for um two or three weeks time they're not going to be monthly like they were before um purely and simply because of a, a time element really because Lisa's such a busy lady and has so many shows that she's doing um, it, time is a bit precious so we will have plenty of challenges Julia I haven't done particular measurements on this card um, basically because you can you can do it to suit whatever card blank you're using this is a supposedly 7x7 seven seven blank 
card um, it's not actually seven by seven it's just short of that but I measured it in centimeters and it's just slightly bigger than 17 square in centimeters so this one is 15 and a half this one's 12 and this one's eight and then the black card is slightly bigger than those white pieces but as I say it doesn't really matter because it depends what card blank you're starting with in the first place obviously all those sizes would change if you're using a six by six card blank um, so it's it's just trial and error really deciding on what size you want your squares to be and um, that's how I did it this morning when I made the the original was just measured it out and, and what I wanted to make sure of was that you could see enough of this stamp on the level below without you so that you knew what it was basically um, so I just I just cut it till I was happy with the width of this underneath each layer um, simple as that really didn't didn't really didn't really think about measurements just wanted it to fit um, yeah I've done one in green Jane I've not done one in pink that was my other colour choice for today but I decided to go with this one um, so do make a pink one um, I think you've got these stamps haven't you but use any stamp um, but put it in the group afterwards if you use Lisa's products and um, love to see what you do especially if it's pink um, and yeah it would look great in any colour really don't forget the YouTube channel all the lives go onto the YouTube channel at some point um, and Lisa's uh, updates uh, will be on there as well um, and I think that's about it really don't think I've got anything else to, sh to share with you don't forget Lisa's on Create and Craft next Tuesday I'm not sure whether it's one big show or two small shows at the moment um, but I do know that you are going to love what's on so be there miss it miss out because it's amazing you're going to love it so I think that's about it from me I'm going to love you and leave you enjoy your weekend I'm not sure whether there's any lives on over the weekend I think Jane might be doing one on Sunday but it depends on her work shifts so um, I'll put an event up in the group hopefully over the weekend if she's doing one um, other than that it'll be Claire next Tuesday uh, and then obviously Lisa's shows on Creating Craft on Tuesday as well so enjoy your weekend thank you very much for joining me hope you enjoyed the demo and I'll see you again next Friday at three o'clock bye <laughs>